Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 1st of June 2019 and we're providing our gold and silver weekly update for the week ending the 31st of May. And what an exciting week it has been. Gold rose $21 last week from 1,284 to 1,305, having hit a high of 1,306 and a low of 1,275. In sterling terms, gold finished the week at 1,033 pounds. That's up 23 pounds. And in euros, it closed at 1,168 euros. That's up 22 euros. Silver rose just one cent, from 1457 to 1458, having hit a high of 1464 and a low of 1431. In sterling terms, it closed at £11.54. That's up 8 pence. And in euros, it closed at 13.05 euros. That's up 0 0.05 euros. The gold to silver ratio rose from 88 to 1, to 89.5 to 1. The Dow Jones closed on Friday at 24,815, down 354 points on the day and down 770 points on the week. And the Nasdaq closed at 7,453, down 114 points on the day and down 183 points on the week. And the S&P 500 closed at 2,752, down 36 points on the day and down 74 points on the week. So all down last week. Brent crude fell $4.20 from $68.69 to $64.49. And US light crude fell $5.13 from $58.63 to $53.50. The dollar index stands at 97.75, that's up 0 0.14 on the week. Gold prices traded initially within a $7 range last week in a downward momentum until Thursday. And then we saw a rise and a steeper rise on Friday, placing gold at its highest level since the 11th of April and above the important psychological level of $1,300. It's interesting to note that in our weekly update last week, we stated, quote, Gold move, Gold's movement last week was quite frankly more or less in line with a slight reduction in the dollar index. And so our assessment, save any major political or geopolitical disaster is that gold will be range bound with a slight downward emphasis. Unquote. Well, that was exactly what was happening until President Trump announced that from the 10th of June he will be levying a 5% tariff on all Mexican imports quote, until the illegal immigration problem is remedied. Unquote. The President highlighted that this move was necessary in order to tackle a crisis with thousands of undocumented migrants crossing the US southern frontier. We produced a podcast or YouTube video on this yesterday entitled Gold and Silver Prices Rise on Mexico Tariff Threat and have placed a link in the description column below. Mexico's foreign minister Marcello Ebrard, confirmed on Twitter that he would lead a delegation to Washington, adding, quote, The treatment of Mexico is unfair and does not make economic sense to anyone, unquote. He later tweeted that a summit to resolve the dispute would be held in Washington on Wednesday, with U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo heading the United States side. Apart from the normal political suspects, there has been some condemnation of this proposed new tariff from both the US Chamber of Commerce and the Business Roundtable. 
the latter warning that the move jeopardized the new US-Mexico-Canada trade deal to replace the North American Free Trade Agreement, otherwise known as NAFTA. The tariff threat announcement immediately caused stocks to fall and gold prices to rise and silver prices to recover from their previous ongoing decline. Technical analysts are now stating that they expect gold prices to rise further initially, reaching resistance at 1325 and then again at 1350, and the now surpassed 1300 level will act as a floor. Until this tariff matter is resolved, we frankly cannot argue with that expectation. And especially with gold actually closing yesterday at the top of the technical candlestick, and breaking through the recent downtrend line, which from a chartist point of view or technical point of view is indeed bullish and expecting follow through. What a difference a week makes, especially as gold was in fact heading lower and most analysts had nearly given up the ghost, expecting it to fall to 1250 and then further down towards 1200. Now once again, this emphasises the points we have made in the recent past. Politics does in fact matter in these situations. It's all very well arguing the case of fundamentals and technicals, and yes, they are crucial for both long-term and short-term projections. However, there is a little more imminent and impactful on prices than political decisions and especially tweet announcements from this incumbent president. Again, we produced a YouTube video on this very subject on the 6th of May entitled Does Politics Matter? and include a link in the description below. Amongst all of these tariff headlines, one must also not forget the economic news on interest rates, which saw the benchmark 10-year Treasury rate fall to 2.16%, a fresh 20-month low, and the two-year rate dropped to 1.98%, its lowest level since January 2018. Silver markets were in free fall on Tuesday, but regained some composure, and then, like gold, staged a recovery later on Thursday and into Friday, though closing some nine cents short of its week's high. Now, we have not been backward in coming forward about our short-term negative view on silver. Please note we state short-term, i.e. for the next 6-12 to 12 months. However, with politics, that is President Trump using tariffs as an instrument or weapon to gain political and economic advantage, dominating the marketplace, naturally silver is going to move with the same trend as gold. Though we expect an underperformance in comparison which is why the gold to silver ratio has now increased to 89.5 to 1, just shy of that 90 to 1 level we have predicted will happen very soon. Once again, we have produced a YouTube video on this, in fact, only two days ago, entitled 89 to 1 gold to silver ratio is not madness. It may go up further. And again, we have placed a link in the description below. The reason we are referring you to these videos or podcasts is that we want you to know that when we produce these, it's not just to fill time or earn perhaps a $5 AdSense revenue, which is the typical income we receive from many of these, but to help guide you to the issues that we believe will affect precious metal prices, and also, on occasion, to counter some of the pumper hyperbole we often see. We're not in the game of trying to be popular. If we were, we would tell you that gold and silver were going to the moon, the dollar is going to collapse imminently, and that buying gold and silver from the one or two companies we recommend, because we'd earn a healthy commission if you do, is the way to go. We don't do that, and therefore very seriously suggest that with the one or two exceptions where we attempt to be humorous, such as the video on Game of Thrones, not always being successful, admittedly, there is a specific purpose behind the videos or podcasts we produce. 
and that it's not just an exercise in self-promotion or revenue earning. Anyway, back to silver. From a technical point of view, a hammer has been formed, which is indeed a bullish sign. But it's still too early to tell, for sure. 1485 is the test line and then $15. That said, it's all about politics for the moment, and much depends on the outcome of the tariff threat imposed upon Mexico. And of course, we still should not forget about those other areas we focused on last week, including the trade dispute with China, increasing tensions with Iran, possible missile testing by North Korea and its aftermath, potential initiation of impeachment proceedings by the Democratic House of President Trump, who, by the way, is coming with his, virtually his entire family to visit our Queen on a state visit on Tuesday. OK, that's enough about politics for now. What about economic news that we can look forward to next week? And please note, it is quite substantial. And Trump's visit to the UK will probably cause some of this important news to miss the front page headlines. On Monday, we have the Market Manufacturing PMI, the ISM Manufacturing Index and Motor Vehicle Sales for May. Tuesday, Fed's Policy Conference in Chicago, plus factory orders for April. Wednesday, Fed's Policy Conference continues, plus Market Services PMI, an ISM non-manufacturing index for May will be announced. Thursday, the trade deficit for April. And Friday, the very important non-farm payrolls for May, with 174,000 new jobs forecast, plus the unemployment rate and average hourly earnings for May. In addition, we also have wholesale inventories and consumer credit for April. So we have quite a menu of economic reporting, all of which should be analysed against what we expect will dominate headlines, and that is Mexico, Trump's visit to the UK, and the aftermath from Mueller's public statement. So next week we can see, certainly initially, a continuing in the strength of gold and silver prices until the Mexico tariff situation is resolved or agreed upon. We must caution you, however, once China and Mexico are resolved, and assuming we have seen a significant rise in gold and silver prices before then, do not be surprised to see their price fall back. From our assessment, the technical and fundamentals are still pointing in a downward direction. Now, we admit this is against the trend of many pundits. But had President Trump not mentioned Mexico Thursday night, then today we would be producing a very different report. And this holds true if and when these events are resolved. That said, if you are of the opinion that they won't be resolved, or that the conflict with Iran is likely to escalate and lead to a shooting war, then of course we then expect their prices not only to rise, but rise considerably. Fortunately, we're not at that stage as yet. Finally, a very brief note for Inner Sanctum members. We have some interesting interviews lined up for this month, so stay tuned. We shall be announcing them shortly. Meanwhile, we hope and wish you an enjoyable weekend and a prosperous week ahead. And although there may be protests about President Trump's visit to the United Kingdom, and we admittedly are critical of some of his activities, we will still welcome him to our country as the President of the United States, as the bond between our two countries is far more important than any individual views or prejudices any of us may have. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, 
Please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.